Hey everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today is Sunday, which means football. And uh, sorry, I'm whispering the baby's asleep. But uh, we're gonna make guacamole because that's Cameron's favorite thing to have on football Sunday is guac. So I wanted to show you how I make it uh, because everybody that eats it says it's the best guac they've ever had. So I'm gonna share it with you guys and uh, yeah, see you in a little bit. So the ingredients you'll need to make this guacamole are avocados, of course. You're gonna need a red onion. You also need tomatoes. I like to use the little baby ones just because when you cut them up, they stay more solid and crunchy in the guacamole. You also need lemon and lime juice. Uh, preferably fresh lemon and lime juice um, but I forgot to buy them so we're gonna use this <laughs> and you also need salt and pepper you don't have to use pink Himalayan salt um, you can use whatever salt you want but that's just what we use and that's it so let me show you how I do it okay so step one obviously get your avocados out uh, when it's just me and Cameron eating guacamole. I normally use three avocados, so depending on how many people you are serving will obviously affect the amount of avocados you use. You want to cut them all in half, twist it open to get the seed out. And if you don't have one of these things, they're really good. I'll link it down below. So it's specifically made for avocados. Take this middle part and you put it on the seed you twist it and it comes right out and you can just toss it and then as well with this piece what you do is you take your avocado and instead of using a spoon you just kind of dig into it like so and it'll slice it up right for you just make sure the little pit doesn't end up in your avocados Now that you have all of your avocados cut, what you're going to want to do is mash them now because if you try to mash them once you have the red onion and the tomato in there, it'll mash those things and they won't be as crunchy. So it's vital to mash these up now. I just use a fork, kind of slice them around because I like chunky guacamole, not mushy guacamole so by doing this it kind of keeps the avocados in chunks versus like liquefied and that is it for the avocados see how there's still uh, little chunks in there but it's also mashed up really well so we'll set this aside. Next I like to put the red onion in. Um, because I have four avocados, I'll probably do half a red onion. We like red onions in this house, so the more red onion, the better for the guacamole. And red onions are really, um, I wouldn't say spicy, but you definitely have to have like a palate for them. So if you don't, I would ixnay the red onion. So next is the little tomatoes. So all I do with these is kind of cut them in fours. 
These are kind of bigger than what I normally do, so I'm gonna cut these in eighths. And then I'll add it to the avocados and the red onions. into my mixture. See, it doesn't look so pretty. Like the yellow, the red, and the purple from the red onion. And then what you do now is just mix it up. And I'm just kind of using a folding motion. What does that mean? What does folding the cheese mean? He folds it in. I, I understand that, but how, how do you fold it? Do you fold it in half like a piece of paper and drop it in the pot? And to get the avocado from underneath, like on top of everything. And the lemon and lime is gonna go next. Um, it kind of helps the guacamole stay greener longer, as well as adds a little bit of flavor, so that's why I like to put it in. and. If you were using like an actual lime, it'd probably be about half of a lime of juice and also half of a lemon juice. So just squirt that in there. And then I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. I do to taste, and normally I taste it with whatever chips I'm serving it with because the chips also are salty. Um, so yeah, depending on how salty you want your guacamole, you just add in however much you want. Then you want to mix it up again. Just to get the salt and the pepper and the, let the juices everywhere. Evenly dispersed in your concoction here. That's literally it. There you go. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you try this guacamole. It's really, really good. Um, and if you do, leave me a comment below about how or what you think about it. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.